So today I'm going to do an eBay unboxing. Now I ordered this over a week ago, probably 12 days ago. Does first class really take this long? Well, I guess it does. So let's see what's inside. Hang on one second while I open this up. I just took it out of the envelope and let's see what's in here. And I got a little thank you note, it looks like. That's cool. So what I have here is actually very, very rare, apparently, for Stife collectors. And, well, although I am not an expert, I do know these are very hard to find. And this is a German 1950s Stife Panda Bear. And Stife collectors really, really look for these Panda Bears. There's not too, ma there's not too many of them because most collectors actually do not like to sell them off and keep them. So there's very few on the market at any given time. And so I forgot the year that this was produced. I think it was 1954. In a moment, I'm gonna actually show you some information on these panda bears. So for now, I'm just showing you the one that just came in that envelope. And that was a little dicey that a seller uh, shipped this beautiful rare stife bear in a little envelope that wasn't even padded. My goodness, I mean, can you imagine this could have been mangled and um, I mean it does have wear and it is a little tattered and old but the seller uh, that wasn't too wise of them they only used a small piece of tissue paper to wrap it in inside a Ziploc bag and threw it in a plastic envelope and that was not cool so but what can you do I got it it's okay it's not damaged and that's a good thing so here he is he has an open mouth much like Zadi the bear that Stife produced in 1951. He has a really cute airbrushed mouth. I don't know if you can see that. And he has that little, little stitched nose. And the cool part of this bear is his paw pads. His paw pads are made out of some kind of material that looks like suede, but it's like a faux suede. And he's fully jointed. His squeaker sadly is not working. He is straw stuffed. Actually, I'm going to place him in a seated position. Hold on one second. By the way, I'll show you the bottoms of his feet. So it's like a suede-like material, which is quite nifty. Let me place him in a seated position so you can see him better. And look how cute he is now. So this is really a great, great Stife product. And uh, I always wanted the Panda Bear to be added to my collection, but I could never afford these panda bears. These panda bears um, sometimes sell for hundreds of dollars. Well, I mean, especially if they're in better condition with the original tags. But this was another one of my little sleepers that I found on eBay. And um, they're not easy to find. It's very, very hard to actually find sleepers. And a sleeper is something that the seller doesn't know what, what it is that you get for really, really cheap. And I'm not gonna tell you the price I paid, but let's just say that this vintage 1950s Stife Panda Bear was quite a bargain. And I really, really got it for such a price that I was even in shock. So here's uh, how his back looks. And he's really, really a cute old bear. I really think he is just absolutely precious. Again, he has a little wear on him, but that's really not anything to be you know too concerned about so once again thanks for watching if you like what you see hit the thumbs up and subscribe and in a moment i'm going to show you so stay tuned by the way i'm going to show you more information about these stife panda bears so stay tuned while i go get all the information that i found on the internet to show you so sometimes when you're um adding something to your collection and you're not an expert it's really great when you look things up on Google, and you actually find information that explains all about the item you just added to your collection. So on Ruby Lane, there's a blogger by the name of Rebecca Kaufman, and she's an actual Stife expert, and she also sells Stife animals on Ruby Lane. And so she wrote an article all about Stife's panda bears, and I was able to find out precisely how old my panda bear is by her article. So this is really great. So here's a, a photo of some of the Stife panda bears that came in different sizes. Now from what it sa says in this article, Stife created this particular design in 1938 and it spanned for several decades, I believe up until 
1961 or 1971. I um, really didn't read the whole article in full, but um, when I got to the part about my bear, I pretty much stopped because the rest of the article wasn't really pertinent to the information I needed. So let me show you actually the different designs Stife made in panda bears, and not all of them were jointed, and some of them were on all fours. So let's scroll down to the article to see my actual panda bear. And by the way, this one is from the 1930s. So you can see the start of the design and what it looked like and how it changed over the years. Here's the 1950s one. And here's my guy right here. So, well, it's in way better condition than my bear. But nonetheless, there's those uh, fake suede paws. And I'm so happy I'm able to figure out when precisely mine was made because mine does not have any identification tags or the hang tag <clears throat> that generally hangs on the chest or the ear flag with the stife um, item number, you know, uh, design number. So here's the information I found out. So in 1956 and onward, a suede-like gray rubber material was used for the paw pads. And there we go. That's how I can date my stife bear. And uh, it says that that particular design went up to 1961. So this is great. I was so uh, happy when I saw this because, again, sometimes it's really hard. If a company makes a certain design for several decades, it's really hard to tell precisely when your item was made if it does not have all its original tags on it. So when I saw this, I knew right away what I had. And... Uh, I really appreciate you watching this video. Once again, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up or a subscribe and stay tuned because when I uh, add more items that are interesting to my collection, I will be posting more videos soon.